Hello everyone. Today I'm going to review the AccuRave ELM 327 ODB2 diagnostic interface. So uh, uh, it came in a, all, everything you see here came in this convenient plastic bag. Uh, here we have the actual interface. We have a CD with uh, I think about five or six different uh, freeware or trialware programs if you're going to run this on a on a Bluetooth enabled laptop. These are Windows uh, based programs. And then we have some instructions. Uh, the main thing you'll get out of the instructions here is uh, the pairing code is 1234. So let's take a look at this just a little bit here. Uh, this looks like the good one. Uh, I was on YouTube and there's somebody who bought one of these that worked really great then they bought a bunch more and they're a bunch of crap because they got fake ones. So uh, th this is uh, hopefully a good one. We'll put it to the test. But uh, we can see here it says uh, part number 1008, ELM 327, firmware revision 1.5. So uh, anyway, we'll, we'll put it to the test. Here's the contents of the CD. You can see we've got Easy ODB2, ODB2 Spy, Scan Master Elm, Scan Tool Net 113 Win, a USB driver, a Windows Vista USB driver, and W ODB Crazy. And some instructions here. And uh, they basically suggest you use scan tool net 113 wwin. And then they have, uh, they mention the, mention the rest of these, but they require licenses to use anything but the, uh, the trial version. The ODB2 port is always located uh, underneath the steering wheel. And uh, let's take a look at it. You can see it's right there. There we go. I guess I got on camera. It's right there, and we'll plug it in. Okay, I plugged it in, and we got the red light on. Okay, I plugged the Elm 327 into the car. Now it says, and I downloaded the Torque Light application. Although well, there appeared to be many, many OBD2 Bluetooth enabled applications, and here it says no paired Bluetooth. Okay, hopefully I figured this out. So, go to settings, wireless and network, Bluetooth settings, search for device, it says it's scanning, and uh, it seems to find uh, something with a whole bunch of uh, numbers, and we'll try... Uh, one, two, three, four, okay. And it says it's paired. Okay, so let me just try connecting to the CBT. Okay, it says it's checking protocols and it's checking all these different things. So it seems to be communicating the device right now. Okay, I turned the key on, and it says connected to ECU OK. I added a display for the status, and you can see it's gone through all of the, the DTC stuff, and uh, everything looks good. Now here's an all data display, and of course I'm sitting here parked, but uh, it looks very interesting. Okay, I just started the car. You can see like uh, the intake temperature, coolant temperature, the RPMs, timing, throttle, very interesting. So the way this torque application works here, if we go to the, the menu, we can click Add Display, and I guess they can do a dial, a graph, a display, 
Uh, I already added like the all data widgets uh, earlier that we saw. So let me just just say if we pick display. They seem to have uh, all sorts of various different uh, things such as the acceleration, the altitude, the engine cool temperature, engine load, intake uh, temperature, manifold pressure, several O2 sensor readouts, speed, throttle position, timing advance, uh, barometric pressure, fuel level, and so we can add any one of these things to the display. It's like a large desktop and you just add that there. You know, there are so many of these OBD2 uh, programs. I did a search for ODBII and here's ODB Car Doctor. And let's just see what happens on this one here. It seems to be going through setting everything up there. It's trying all these different protocols. Wonder if I can get any information yet. Okay, well, uh, oh, it knows what kind of car my uh, car I have. Current data. Of course, I don't have the car started. Seems to have a lot of the stuff that. The, all the stuff that the torque had. Okay, I think I got a little better idea how this program works. I press on current data and then I can say uh, monitor status and it says my uh, uh, check engine light is off. Spark ignition, I wonder what that means. Fuel system status. Open loop insufficient engine temperature. Well. Of course, the car's not even started. What happens if I start it? Well, it'll be a while before the temperature gets back up. Let's take a look at uh, calculate engine load. Well, that's uh, interesting because uh, kind of spike up there when I step on the gas. Cool temperature should be pretty cold. I mean, the car is still uh, cold. It says 100 degrees F, 102 degrees F. I imagine it'll be going up pretty quickly as, since the car is running. Take manifold pressure 0.3. Oh, okay, and uh, you can see the pressure as I. That's a pretty, uh, pretty little graph. See engine RPM, that should be pretty obvious. 900, really, is that high? There it goes, you can kind of see it spike up there to whatever. Uh, since this car doesn't have a tack, that'd be kind of a nice thing to, to have at times. Let's take a look at our timing. 19 degrees. Oh, there you go, 40 degrees, woohoo! Wait, so, uh, can I see the timing? It's all useful information. Air intake temperature, 71F. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit warmer than that outside, but, uh, oh, maybe it's, maybe it's 71, 73, somewhere around in there. Throttle position. Okay, here I'm idling. It's at 17. That seems okay. Now we're in a different car. This is a 2008 Acura, and, and uh, you can see the the ODB uh, module is right down over here. And uh, here's uh, what we have for the DTC data, and here we are for the driving acceleration stuff. Uh, the car has not been started, so you can see it's kind of cool. Uh, but uh, it seems to work just fine uh, with the, the Acura as well. There you have it. Uh, the, the, the big advantage of this one is this is the working model. It's not the 
uh, the bootleg models. Uh, this is off Amazon, and I'm going to include a link to buying this on Amazon so that you make sure you get the right one. So look uh, in the description just under the video for the link so you get the right one. For, uh, and uh, it'll be the genuine model. It's going to work. And, and uh, I, I think the real power of this thing is in the the add-on applications, of course, for the best features, you want they want want you to spend uh, four dollars and fifty cents, like uh, the 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 full registered version of Torque, you know, Pro ha is for like four fifty, and that'll do zero to sixty times, zero to hundred times. Uh, it hooks up your GPS, it'll do all of your acceleration stuff. You can uh, you can do a lot of things if you're inter interested in the performance of your car. This uh, could be a really nice thing to have. You can uh, mount your Android up there, have it uh, look at all these different things, and uh, as you drive around, it'll all be logged. So uh, there's, there's really a lot of uh, power and a lot of features here. And like I say, this is the good one. This is the non-bootlegged one. you got to worry so much uh, stuff coming out of China that's just kind of fake. And this is the real one. So it's the real deal. Follow the link uh, in my description, and you won't get screwed.